Peace family, Kaja Queen here, and in this segment we are going to be talking about how the enemy sends agents to sabotage your life. Have you ever felt like you're winning in life, you're on top of the world, all your dreams are manifesting, and then you meet this person, and it seems like they're charming, they're handsome, they're beautiful, they have all of the quality, all of the qualities you've always been looking for, but you notice that as you get deeper into the relationship, the person starts having like a little dark side to them. It's as though this person is trying to sabotage your life slowly but surely. What I feel is that sometimes the enemy, if the enemy can't get to you directly because your spirit is so strong, they try to utilize your weaknesses to get to you. They understand that you might have a weakness for women, or you might have a weakness for men, or you might be really kind and generous and loving, so they try to prey on those sides of you. So they'll send you somebody to bring your guards down, somebody to get really close to you. And the enemy knows you. Remember, they're studying you. They're watching you, whether you realize it or not. If you out here spreading love and light, you out here waking up the masses, they're going to try to send people to you that's going to try to get close to you and, and use your strengths and turn them into your weaknesses. And this is not to be paranoid. This is not like, oh, I'm, I'm, this stuff is real. There are gang watches, gang stalkers out there. There are people who are watching you, trying to see where you are, where you move. And they're sending people to sabotage your life. To literally break your spirit, break you down, and, and lower your vibrations. Because they know how powerful you are. They know that you have power. They know that you have the ability to touch the masses. They know that you have the ability to awaken up the sleeping giants. So what they're going to try to do is they know that you're so powerful they can't get to you directly. They're going to get to those people that love you. Family, friends, lovers. Okay? Do somebody hear me right now? I'm basically saying that they're going to try to get so close to you. They're going to try to break you down. Have y'all ever been, like, you You doing well in life, and then they just, this person comes into your life and, like, literally, like, shatters it, yo. It's like, you be like, yo, what happened? Like, I was on top of the world. My business was prospering. Like, my life was flourishing. Then this person came into my life. Everything was seeming good. And, and then all of a sudden, everything just went to hell. Like, what happened? And it happened so quick, you don't even know. Because that person has been uh, uh, infiltrated your life, an agent the whole time, studying and going back to their master, telling them what you're up to, what you're doing, what you got planned. Because what we do when we have a vision or a dream, we want to share that with the people we love. We want to share our ideas and, and, and our visions with our lovers, with our friends, our companions, our confidants, because we trust them. So that's what the enemy does. The enemy sends an agent to you to build trust. And to eventually get intel, send it back to them, and use it against you. And this is one of the double whammies that's not good about being a, a, a healer, a enlightener, a teacher, a motivational speaker. Because once you have power, the enemy knows you and the enemy will try to attack you in multiple angles. You have to keep your guards up. You have to know who's for you and who's not for you. Who's getting close to you just to, un to to study you, to break you down? When your spirit or your intuition tells you that something's not right about this person, you got to listen. You got to trust yourself. You got to trust your ancestors. You got to trust your inner guide because it will never steer you wrong. Pay attention to your dreams and your visions that you get. We got to be careful of opening ourselves up to anybody. And as empaths, as healers, sometimes we could be too trusting too naive because we think that because we have good intentions everybody else has good intentions for us but that could be the furthest from the truth and it's sad that we live in this world but they know how to play on your weakness your naivete the fact that you are so open the fact that you are so easily trusting you gotta learn how to have discernment you have to be careful of these agents out here because they are stalking you they are watching you and they try, to, they try to become your friends, get really close to you, but they really just want to know what you're up to, what's your next move. So pay attention. If they're asking lots of questions, always in your business, snooping through your stuff, these are signs that you're dealing with an agent. And when you find out that you're dealing with an agent, you need to leave that person, cut them off out of your life completely. Don't even give them no heads up. Don't give them no warnings. Because who knows what they're capable of. They're trying to probably assassinate you. 
if they can, depending on your your level of rank. Like, you never know. There's people out here that go missing. People out here that meet with people on dating sites and go missing. And it's not that these people are just crazy, but you never know this person's probably been stalking you and finally found the outlet to get to your ass. So y'all got to protect yourselves out here. Especially if you out here spreading the word, spreading healing, spreading enlightenment, and waking up the masses, and you teaching truth, whoo, you are a target. You are a target. So don't think that they're not watching you, because they are watching you. But you just got to keep your eyes open, all three, two eyes and your third eye, okay, and even the one behind your head. Keep all your eyes open, keep your ears open, and be alert. Don't be so trusting. Look around you. Keep your circle small. Be cordial with people. When you get those vibes that's telling you, leave this person alone, best to believe it. That's your spirit talking to you. I say, have you ever felt like you was dealing with an enemy? Have you ever felt like you was dealing with an agent? Drop your comments down in the comment section. I want to hear your stories and let us know how that went. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with a friend. They might be dealing with an agent and they might need this video. Until next time, Kanja Queen signing out. Peace.